February 8, 2014, I was awakened up by a sound similar to the one I heard before I slept. It was as if there was a sound. So I got it up and uh, checked on what's happening in this deserted Ocean Blue Hotel, which I'm staying overnight. It was around 3 a.m. when I woke up. And uh, of course it was frightening since we are, since I'm one of the three residents inside this new hotel which has just opened two days ago. Now when I got up I checked the surroundings especially since I sleep alone and I always imagined there could be some ghost sleeping on the other bed. What happened was last night after dinner at a good restaurant in Nau Sui Beach. Nau Sui Beach is where I can't pronounce properly it could be called. I'm this is NGEWE Nau Suang and Nau Chi Beach Resort. So when I got up, I examined my whole apartment, which is a corner unit. As you can see, it's rather big for sleeping alone. My, my friend. I heard a sound yesterday as we enter our room after dinner. I told her it sounds like a ghost. Actually, and she was not brought up the subject of ghost in new hotels. So she employed one person to sit outside the corridor for 5,000 chats. That made me more frightful because I never thought of ghost in the first place. Now when I got up, after hearing the cracking sound as if a car tire had burst, I checked the living area of this beautiful room with the view to a beach. You can hear the waves of the beach. So I opened the, the sliding door to check whether there's any ghosts outside. Obviously, I can't see ghosts. And when I look at the floor, there seem to be blood stains. So this is a brand new apartment and uh, these blood stains I had not noticed before so of course I'm, I'm very worried though I don't believe they are ghosts but one cannot be too sure and these blood stains well, they look like blood stains I did not notice yesterday probably it was there for somebody have injured themselves, the workers, or or they appear overnight. So I then sleep now, and uh, let me open the door to see whether the Myanmar person is sleeping outside the corridor or not. And. It is true, there's some, there's somebody sleeping there on the mattress. Because my friend, King Kin, had paid him 5,000 jets just to sleep outside. 
and uh, this is being 3 a.m. It's all very quiet, and they are asleep. Now, two zero two one four. I told Kinky not to not to take this room. I'm staying in two one three. Which is okay because 213 means life, 214 means dead, die in Cantonese or Chinese. So this is the long and quiet corridor of the new Ocean Blue Hotel. And uh, you really see that my friend is very superstitious. So there is two persons sleeping there. I better get back to my room so as not to frighten the two young men guarding guarding the Corridors. However, you've got the corridors, there's still the balcony and the sea where the ghosts can come in. So they can be quite frightful, especially in a brand new hotel. And when there's somebody there, I thought he's the ghost with a gut. And uh, now in Myanmar, there is the torchlight, as you can see, just in case there's power failure. But uh, other than that, it looks to be a very beautiful place to stay. There's warm water and uh, there seems to be a security guard too. So whether ghosts or not, I'm not even worried about this blood stain because blood does not uh, appear from nowhere. So I got up and downloaded my video and uh, Make an image in our street went up. Street went up on the way to this Nisang Beach. It looks very uh, much different as you can see the beach are cropped. And uh, the only disadvantage of this place is that there's no CNN and uh, these are teething problems so overall I dare not sleep so I will just uh, wait till 6 a.m. and we will be leaving this place at 7 a.m. as it's a long drive to I rent her or some another town in Irrawaddy. It's about three hours. Where I will visit the monk, the monastery, and the library, which is donated by my friend. And uh, she's a staunch Buddhist, so I'm surprised. But ghosts and spirits, nets or nets, are part of the Myanmar culture. And uh, even in the Chinese culture, there are ghosts too, as well as in the Western or you know, English uh, culture. So this thing about ghosts can be quite frightening when you live alone. Well, I 
think I should be not so worried since the bed, the single bed looks unslept. But who knows? To go sleep at all. I hope you're not frightened by this story. But uh, I think we should check for blood stains before we sleep. Otherwise, uh, this can be quite, quite uh, frightening. Blood do appear from the air in one of my encounters with one of my clients and uh, there was not, there had nothing to do with ghost there was to do with another matter which I recorded down in my writings February 8, 2014 Myanmar Irwadi Division